Hello everyone. Uh, I'd just like to show you a bottle that I decoupaged and um, I put some of the napkins also in a frame and uh, I just put a big white flower in it just to show you what I did and um, I'm getting ready to do another bottle so just one minute. Okay, uh, this is an Irish cream, Bailey's Irish cream bottle. It's a pretty black bottle. Uh, I didn't remove the label. I'm not going to do the whole bottle. I'm not going to decoupage it, but I am going to, I'm going to do this front part and I'm going to decoupage the back. I've cleaned it with soap and water and I've, I've used this rubbing alcohol. I've cleaned it real good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to um, paint paint the black because I tried putting the napkin over it and you can see through it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it, let it dry. I have um, I have some black paint here. I have multi-surface black. I'm going to paint it and let it dry real good, and then I'm come back over. I'm going to show you the napkins I bought. I bought these napkins at the Dollar Tree. They're really they're pretty. They were just a dollar for a pack. Uh, this is the the front of it. It's front of the napkins, and this is this is what I'm, what I'm going to put to the front. I guess you can see it okay. It's really pretty. And I'll put this smaller piece that I cut out to the back of the bottle. And I've already peeled off the back. You know, it comes in the two layers, and this is. This is the back of the napkin. It's really pretty too, but I wanted the red because I have a big red flower I'm going to stick in the bottle. And I used a little pair of scissors I had just to cut. So, um, so that's what I'm doing today. I haven't been painting any because sometimes my hands hurt and but um, I've been I've been crocheting then my wrist hurt <laughs> so you know it's uh, always something I hope everybody's doing good with this lockdown and all I hope everyone's well and uh, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and do the painting on here and let it dry and then I'll come back and see everyone in a little bit okay thanks bye well I'm going to go ahead and, I decided to go ahead and leave it on here and, and just show you how the paint's going to cover it. I started it just to show you how easy it is to cover. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to pull a label off if you don't want to. Just paint over it. And it's really going to cover it really nice. It'll real, it'll be nice to cover, you know. Without I pull labels off mostly on a white bottle like this. I'll show you. If you have a wine bottle that's clear, uh, if you can see that, I pulled I soaked it, and it's not hard to get the label off. Spray it with a little Windex or something after you soak it for a while, and it comes off pretty easy. But um, with this black bottle, I'm just going to go ahead and paint the label. As you can see, it covers it nice, and that way it doesn't show through when, uh, with your decoupage. But I use the, the multi-surface or enamel paint. You don't want to use you don't want to use just the water uh, folk art or any kind of paint because when you go to use the um, uh, this here, when you go to use your Mod Podge it's gonna it'll strip your paint off so you want to use an enamel paint or multi-surface so it'll stay on good let it dry good and that's it I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on there it doesn't look bad okay that's gonna cover that and oops a little bit there and back here.
and you'll never see that through the through whatever you use a napkin or paper paper uh, tissue paper whatever you use for your decoupage I haven't done this in a well I did the uh, the other bottle that I, I'm going to show you or I've shown you already um, Dollar Tree has the prettiest napkins really and for a dollar you can't beat it I'd only picked up a couple of them a couple packs I didn't plan on doing a whole lot but I had liked the ones I got and uh, it's really easy you can do it on any kind of glass surface or wood or any, anything you'd like it's so easy to do it's it's inexpensive just save an old pickle jar or save any any kind of bottle you like and uh, there you go you know you have something to to make uh, you know I, I have ivy growing in this and I put beads in the bottom and I thought about decoupaging around here because I really don't like the, the roots growing so I'm thinking about it but I'm not sure so who knows I might I might not but um, okay I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back in a little while see ya okay bye bye okay now the um, the uh, paint is dry and so I'm going to put the uh, Mod Podge in a bowl. I'm not going to shake it up or anything because it will get a lot of bubbles to it. So I'm just going to put some in here and I'm going to take the front part and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and put some on here. Where I think it's going to fit on the front. Hope you can see this okay. Let me make sure that's in the camera there. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to do this just to get the main part in. I can come back and add some glue to it around the sides of it, but I just want to get the front on there like that and remember I separated them so I have the, the the main part of it now covered like that I'm take your time trying to get the the wrinkles up it don't always work. So just do the best you can. And as you can see, some of my glue. I have a lot of glue there where I shouldn't have. So I'm going to take a damp uh, paper towel, get that off of there. You have to be careful so you don't rip your your tissue, your your um, napkin, because since it is really, you know, it's just one layer, it can rip kind of easy. But all right, that's good. Um, now some people take. Uh, We'll go, we'll go back over that. Some people take and use bubble wrap to, to uh, you know, lay it down flat. I've never tried that. Um, it looks like it, it works pretty good. I just sometimes use the end of this roller to get mine, get some of the bubbles out. You can try the bubble wrap and see how that does. This takes time, so. Just kind of, just kind of work it out. Okay, so now I have to go around the edges because 
since this is not going to overlap, it's just going to be, you know, just one piece here and there. I mean, you know, just one picture here on the. Uh, so you're going to make sure you get all those covered. wipe all that glue off the, the Mod Podge off after, after I get it on there. I hope everybody's finding something good to do. So, I'm used to staying home. It doesn't bother me at all. I've been staying home for the last, oh my goodness, 16 years since I retired. Um, I had a disability of, uh, well, it's not so much a disability, I could have worked, but I had a lot of vascular problems, and uh, since I wasn't covered on insurance, I had to go on a disability so that I could get Medicare. Because of that, nobody would cover me medically. So, I have been home since 2000. Six, I think it is. So I've been home a long time. Um, I did do a lot of painting and painting on glasses, so I stayed busy, you know, doing that. I did accounting work for 30, 34, oops, 34 years. And I did tear it, but it's okay. Let me fix it up like that. So, and then I was up. I've taught. Well, tutored, not taught, but tutored uh, last year for a while to some children and adults in in South Korea English and I enjoyed it very much oh my gosh they were some of the nicest nicest people very very nice I enjoyed that a lot but then then it got to where um, they had me. They had me so booked up. I was I was teaching like between 19 and 23 students a, a day, and I was starting at five, and, well 5:36 in the morning, and sometimes I wouldn't finish till eight at night, plus the preparation, and then. After, I would have the follow-up with for each student, and it had to be too much. So I decided after a while I, it was too much for me. Uh, I enjoyed it, but mm -mm. too much. So anyway, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy. I, I've, I've been crocheting a lot. I'm, I'm trying to make. I've made afghans for all three of my children, and let's see, one, two. I have seven grandchildren, and now I've completed. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I have three more afghans to make. Three more of my grandsons. I'm, I'm working on theirs now. So I stay busy with that. I haven't been painting so much. I jump around. My hands sometimes hurt. I crochet, but it's different. It's different in a way than painting. But let's see. Oh, I really tore that up. I'm just going to remove it. 
that happens. remove part of that flower <laughs> oh my gosh mm. so just get it in there with my finger the best I can put another coat of this. I'll, I'll, I'll put another coat of the uh, Mod Podge over the whole over the whole thing after it kind of dries. I'll put you know one more coat over it. Now I'll put the other the other piece that I removed the one back in. And this is a smaller piece so I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the backing on this. See how that works. It's smaller. The other one covered so much. Let's see how this will work like. Oops. I don't know. I better go ahead and attach it. Yeah. All right. Let me make sure it's still in frame there. Okay. delicate to work with. Hope everyone's uh, swell from all this virus going on. Such a sad thing, I tell you. It's a nurse, and I'm sure you people up there have nurses and doctors and things, and you know, healthcare workers in your family, and um, healthcare field. It's, it's uh, scary. Well, it's scary for everybody that has to, everybody that has to get out in the public, and it just is. All we can do is hope and just. Just whatever God's will. Just hope. Hope for the best. That's all we can do. Uh, I sure, sure feel bad for all the people losing their jobs and the economy so bad. Oh my. It's, uh, it's affecting my children as well. I have three children and Okay, well, let's see. Come on, let's go. All right, now, I'm going to have to clean this up around uh, where I pulled the glue up around it. So I'm going to do that. And um, on both sides, I'm going to clean it up. And when all this dries up some more, I'm going to come back and, and put another coat of the Mod Podge. Also, I'm using the matte finish. Uh, you can use the gloss or the high gloss. I'm using the matte finish, so I'll be back in a little bit and uh, and clean this up, the glue, the, the Mod Podge around it, which is like a glue. And so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay. Um, 
This is the bottles that I finished doing the decoupage. The, uh, the one in red with the red roses in it. Um, you can see the one I, I painted the black bottle. I finished. And um, I'm disappointed some. If, if you can see it's pretty, but the I'm going to show you up close. The black, the, the roses are so dark. The flowers are so dark on it. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll leave it. I thought about cutting out more and putting on there. Um, with, the, with the black black background, the, the roses, you see, <clears throat> after I put them on and then put the, um, the coating on top, it just it made them so dark. Let me show you the back. Let me. I'm sorry. Um, let me show you the back. I mean, it's pretty, but you know, it's just so dark. But anyway, that's how it came out. And um, but it's okay. It's all right. And I know. I like to decoupage. I don't. Um, I don't smooth mine out. <laughs> I think people do. I think you're supposed to make it really smooth, right? Isn't that right? <laughs> mine aren't. I just go ahead and slap it on there, and it's got crinkles in it. That's okay. It's all right with me. All right. And then the other one here. I had. Uh, I did this one before. The green one. And I got the napkins at the Dollar Tree. They have beautiful napkins over there. And I've just put this pretty white magnolia. I got it at Walmart. And um, so I keep that one in my bedroom. And as you can see, it's it's got these little houses design in it. I got it all the way around. And I know I, I know you can see it's crinkly. You see that? It's crinkly. Well, anyway, it's okay with me. That's just how mine come out. It's all right. So anyway, the uh, the one, the red and the black. I think it's pretty. It's just it's not bright. It's dark. But I guess it'll do. So that's it. We'll call them done. <laughs> I'll do more. Uh, as long as I can do things and work with my hands, I'm happy, you know. But anyway, I did finish that. It's been a while that I was, I, I finished it. I just wasn't sure if I was going to go back over it and, and glue another picture of the roses and maybe, you know, use another uh, medium to go over it and keep them really light, like like the picture originally was. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stop it right now. I'm gonna get a picture of, of the napkin, how light it was. Hold on one minute, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see. See how pretty, how pretty the light is? It's, ho it's hard to hold it in the same time. But you see, it's so pretty. It would match the, the rose. Beautiful color. And I think I'm still going to go over it. I just think it would be beautiful with that color. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm holding it from a distance. So you see how dark it is? That's why I'm disappointed. It's very dark. So, uh, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to go over it. I'm going to put this back on top. Yes. So it will match the pretty flower. I've got to. It's got. Okay, I'm talking to myself maybe, but anyway, I just wanted to show y'all. I will go back over it, and um, I'll show you the result in another in another video because I'm not going to do it right now. I just wanted to show y'all. I hope you're all well. Take care of yourself. God bless you all. I'm going to see you next time, okay? Bye. For now.
Thanks again. Bye-bye.